security station in uh, in Karabatula sub county, which has recently experienced uh, um, ethnic tensions and skirmishes between uh, the Olean of, um, of, of Garissa, that's like Dara sub county, and uh, the Borana uh, of Isiolo county. Uh, the security situation has, uh, has, has calmed down because we have um, uh, held several uh, peace meetings in that area and uh, we've also identified those hotspots and um, deployed uh, adequate security officers in those areas for about uh, two weeks now and we intend to retain those officers there until the situation normalizes uh, uh, fully. We've also, um, we've also called a leaders meeting um, on 22nd in Nanyuki. Uh, the meeting will be chaired by uh, the Cabinet Secretary for Interior, Honorable uh, Joseph Maiseri. And uh, the meeting brings together all the leaders in, in, in Isiolo and in, uh, in, in Karsa counties, including uh, political leaders, peace committees, um, and opinion leaders because we want to put our heads together to find uh, a way forward in this, uh, in this dispute. Um, we have also reason to believe that uh, some of our leaders are actually involved um, in fueling uh, these skirmishes, these disputes, because they have not come out very strongly uh, to condemn them. Our leaders have become uh, partisan, even when the situation calls for them to condemn even their own. Um, like when uh, members of the respective communities are planning to carry out revenge attacks, we'd hardly hear a leader tell them not to. They'll actually come out and say they are prepared to, uh, to support them. And um, what is very, very clear um, to any keen observer is that um, the member of parliament for Shidiye has serious differences with the member of parliament for uh, Isiolo South and the women representative for Isiolo. And uh, these differences now are spreading over to the, to the communities. It looks as if it's a battle for, 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 for supremacy. And that's why we want these leaders to you know, to come down because at the end of the day when they fight it's the people who are suffering. Mm -hmm. yeah. what, what do you think is the reason behind it? Is it votes or...? Um, the leadership in, uh, in Siolo believes that the coming into Siolo by Somali herders is not just in search of um, water and pasture. They believe that going by by the past 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 events where Somalis have come and established permanent settlements in Isiolo and claim actually what is in Solo land to be theirs. The leadership believe that uh, even the current migration of Hadas into Siolo is geared towards establishing uh, more permanent settlements in uh, in, in, in Isiolo. And uh, you look at the behaviors of the immigrants actually, you know they, they come with, with, with firearms and um, they don't want to follow uh, the aggressive guidelines and um, the, the, the livestock they come with is a lot. In fact, I don't think this issue has got the capacity uh, to, to accommodate uh, all those animals. So that's the feeling, that it's not, it's not a temporary thing that people come grass and when the rains come they go back. The business case, even once the rains come, will not go back. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, politics playing playing a role because people now must come out to appear to be the defenders of their of their communities. That without them, the, their communities will be doomed. You know, which, which may not be true. So politics is also playing a very big role in this. People are finding a political talking point to to, to gain mileage uh, over. Over others, such that the person who comes out and condemns some of these activities is looked upon as a sellout by by the community, which is a very sad thing indeed. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, which are these areas where Somalis are, are settled? 
I'm a leader's claim. So my dear ones. There are many, many uh, people have been talking about uh, about about two settlements, about two settlements. That is the uh, Kamisamaki and uh, Eldera. But when you move from um, from Garbatula all the way to Mogadishu, to Modogashi, I mean, there are about uh, about seven seven settlements, which are basically on uh, on uh, in Isiolo, following the gazetted uh, county boundary. But uh, the, the the leadership, the political leadership in uh, in Garissa argues that the boundary is on the Karbatula Modogashe Road. Yet we know that that, uh, that lager, there's a lager there, is the, is the actual boundary. So if you follow that lager, there are several permanent settlements occupied exclusively by, by the Somali in areas that are basically in itself. So the real issue here is boundary. The real issue is boundary. Actually, the, the major issue is the, is, is the boundary. And, and I, I, unless leaders become objective and avoid all this subjectivity, we may not be able to resolve this issue.